Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I ever go any place cool or ride some new mountain bike trails, I'm definitely going to film a vlog about it. And when I have any DIY projects around the house, usually assembling IKEA furniture, something smart home or Tesla related, I'll definitely film those too. And of course, if I learn something new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'm going to film a tutorial about it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below, smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to export your project after you're done editing in Adobe Premiere Elements. So let's head on into the software and get started. So once you've completed editing your project, the next step is to export it. So by this point, I have already rendered my project by clicking on the render button here. And then I have saved my project by clicking on save in the top right hand corner. Underneath save, you're going to see the export and share button. You want to click on that. So at the top of the export window, you can see that you have six different tabs with options. You have your quick export, your devices, disk, online, audio, and image. So assuming you've created a video, there's basically two tabs that you want to use. The first one is the devices tab, and the second one is the online tab. So if you're going to upload your video to YouTube, go ahead and click on the online tab. This will set your video up for the recommended YouTube settings. I always like to click the quality here to high, so that will increase the bitrate to 10 megabits per second. Once you click on begin share, it will ask you to log into your YouTube account. Once you've logged into your YouTube account, Adobe will take over and actually upload the video to your YouTube channel all in one step from the software. As easy as this option is, I always like to click on devices and then this gives me a few more options. So if I have 4K footage, this will give me the option to actually save in 4K. So underneath the devices tab, you have four other tabs. You have computer, TV, mobile, and custom. And under the custom setting, if you go into the advanced settings, you can actually change the different types of codecs and formats, etc. H.264 is my go-to. And because I use my edits at 24 frames per second, I want my export to be at 24 frames a second as well. So as you can see, the sky's the limit under custom settings. Again, my go-to is to click on computer. You get the option of 4K or 1080p. Usually I'm filming 1080p, so I'll click on 1080p, drag the slider over to high. That's now giving me a 32 megabits per second bit rate, which is nice. You have a little bit of extra information there. Frame rate's 24 using an H.264 format and my audio is at AAC. So these, as it says, are commonly used for sharing high quality videos. So once I have these settings done, the next step is to click on save. And now you can see at the bottom, you have a progress bar that's popped up, giving you a time remaining for the export. So if I helped you learn something new today, make sure you head down below and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And if there's any other videos you'd like to see me make, head down below and leave a comment. And until next time, take it easy out there.